The Warriors are going to win game five when they play the Raptors. They're going to beat the Raptors. I believe the score will be 115 to 107. They're going to want to avenge that game four loss. And also, they know that if they lose game five, they will be out of the playoffs and the Raptors will win the championship. Golden State does not want that to happen. They know what's at stake. Number one, the championship is at stake. Number two, their legacy. If they lose to the Raptors, they know there'll be a whole lot of negative press. They're gonna say, you had the greatest backcourt in NBA history. You had the star of talent, how could you lose? They don't wanna hear that. And also, their personal pride will not allow them to lose game five. Now I know they lost game four, it wasn't an easy thing for them to deal with. But I believe they'll bounce back in game five and they will beat the Raptors. Now I don't know if Kevin Durant's playing or not. Hopefully he'll be healthy enough to suit up. If not, hey, it's all good. They still got Steph Curry, they still got Clay Thompson, they still got Draymond Green. They've got a pretty good nucleus intact. They just, for some reason, are struggling to beat the Raptors. But they're going to figure it out game five. They're, they're due a victory. So they're going to win, they're going to beat the Raptors, and then there'll be a game six. Because there's no way the Warriors want to go out like this. Only winning one playoff victory in the finals? No. That's not what they're about. So they're going to bring their A game. Steph's going to probably score another 30 plus points. Clay Thompson might chip in with 30 as well. Draymond Green might have a triple double. I just believe that DeMarcus Cousins, Sean Livingston, Andre Iguodala, they're all going to step their game up because they don't want to be eliminated. They're just going to find a way to win. Now I know they've been turning over the ball. They got to cut down on the turnovers. I believe they had 19 turnovers in game four. So they got to be very careful with the ball. And I believe they will. They're going to make many adjustments. They're going to have to. They're going to have to cut down on the turnovers, like I said. They're going to have to pass the ball more. They're going to have to stop Toronto too. Toronto is shooting a lot of threes. They're looking at the Houston Rockets out there with all the three-point shots they're taking and making. But Golden State, I believe, will clamp down defensively. They're going to shut down on all those three-point shots that Toronto is making. And they'll come out victorious. I just don't see the Warriors only winning one playoff game in the NBA Finals. That has never happened under the Steve Kerr era. Also, another positive for the Warriors is that they are 7-2 after following a loss. So they don't lose two, three times in a row often in the playoffs. That is a rare occurrence. So with Steve Kerr, when they lose one game, they usually win the next game. So they're, like I said, they are do a win. They're going to play better. They're going to cut down on the turnovers. They're going to win game five. And they're going to stay alive in the playoffs. Because like I said, they're going to play well. And I still believe they can win the championship. They still have a chance to do it. It's not going to be easy, but they still have a chance. If they cut down on the turnovers, they tighten up the defense a little bit more, then they'll be good to go. So I believe they'll win. But I want to hear from you all out there. Who do you believe will win Game 5 between the Warriors and the Raptors? If you agree with me that the Warriors will win Game 5, you can let me know. If you disagree with me and think that is the Toronto Raptors who will win Game 5, you can share that with me as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. All you have to do is press that subscribe button below the video. If you did that, I'd appreciate it a lot. It would make it would mean a whole lot to me. And plus, you'd be getting more content from me by subscribing. Well, thanks again for watching. Thanks again for listening. And I hope that you all have a blessed, wonderful day.